Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I'm back with another collectible unboxing slash review video for you guys. I got a couple of WandaVision products from this company called Manta Lab in Hong Kong. I think these are officially licensed Disney products. I'm not sure, at least I think that that's what they said um, like on the website. But basically what these are, are discless WandaVision steelbooks. So a steelbook is like that thing you can get, I think they used to be like Best Buy exclusives kind of, where it's basically just a metal container for like a DVD. And we are getting like official physical media for the Disney Plus shows. And WandaVision is one of them. And that is actually coming out in like a month, like at the end of November. However, uh, I ordered these before those were announced. And I thought that like, hey, this is kind of the closest we're going to get to physical media is getting these like discless steelbooks. Um, so yeah, so I am one of the fools that bought them. I think they were a little bit expensive, to be perfectly honest. I paid like 150, five, no, no, 115 US dollars for both of these combined. Um, so not my finest moment, especially because physical media was announced like two weeks after I bought this. But you know what? I'm a sucker. You know, I love Scarlet Witch. You put WandaVision on something, I'm going to buy it. Okay, so here is the steel books, I guess, because there's two of them. And of course, I bought both. And I think they're supposed to come with like exclusive little things, which is why I bought them. Let's take this wrapping off. That's a really nice back with the sword logo. I wish we would see sword in the MCU. Like my number one complaint with newer MCU stuff is just that the world building is awful. You know, like we had sword in WandaVision solving problems. And then everything else, in everything else recently, it's been the Department of Damage Control, which was just a cleanup crew in Spider-Man Homecoming. So that makes no sense. So, like, I thought Sword was really interesting, and I'm still waiting for it to come back. But I guess that's not happening, maybe ever, since they haven't even been referenced. And also the Marvels is coming out soon with Monica Rambeau returning. But that doesn't reference Sword either. Instead, there's, like, some Saber space station. So, sorry for the little rant, but um, but that's what I thought of when I saw the sword logo. But yeah, very nice packaging, so I need to take off the other plastic, and then we can go ahead and get into it. Okay, this is beautiful packaging. Like, this feels really premium, so I know this was really expensive, but I already feel good about how much I spent, because, like, this is really thick, like, cardboard, I guess, but I don't know, like, it, it feels good, it doesn't feel flimsy or cheap. And then the design on the front is like embossed and glossy. So I don't know, like you can kind of see like the light reflect off of it there. But yeah, like the background is matte and then the characters are glossy. And I love it when packaging of any kind does this, like when they take it that extra step. And in this case, it feels like, you know, the real world has this matte feeling and then everything in the sitcom feels glossy. So I don't know, it's just, it's a really nice feeling. You know, I'm really impressed with that. On the side, you can see the WandaVision logo, the Marvel logo all the way at the bottom there, and then you do have the Manta Lab logo as well. I don't know what else Manta Lab has produced, but I haven't seen or bought anything from them in the past. And then of course, at the back, like I said, we have that sword logo. And oh, this is slightly embossed as well. Not the entire logo, but kind of just the circle, the sword itself. Yeah, the globe is matte, and then the, the text is glossy. So yeah, that is a very nice look for this box. Okay, and on the bottom, you can see that it does have a Marvel copyright on it and a Disney sticker. So I guess it is officially licensed because I don't think they can use those logos without permission. And then you can see that it's a limited number 158 of 800. So that is a very nice sticker. And the premium unboxing experience continues because I was trying to slide the inside out, but it's actually magnetic. And holy crap, look at that. Look at that like holographic design. Oh, it looks like they're looking at you. That's kind of creepy, honestly, but that is super cool. Like, you know, the official physical media steelbook isn't like this, so maybe I'm still getting my money's worth. I mean, how did they even do that? I don't know how lenticular stuff works, but that is very fascinating to me. Okay, maybe I'm supposed to pull this thing to get the steelbooks out. Yep, looks like it. So just have a little bit of padding back there. And then I like that the string just pulls them out really easily. So I don't need to waste my time trying to shake them out. 
So on the front, you have the teaser poster design, which is very iconic, of course. Oh, and then this one is not lenticular. This is regular, and that is like the main poster for the show. Okay, well, let's go ahead and open both of these things. Oh, they do have shrink-wrapped plastic as well. Oh, even the back is lenticular. Okay, I mean, the lights are kind of reflecting like crazy, so let me get the plastic off of this. Um, but yeah, I'm way more impressed than I expected, and that's a good feeling to have when you spent this much money on something. And, oh, it looks like we have a little Manta Lab exclusive with, like, the WandaVision style. Oh my god, and then it turns to black and white. That is so clever. This is also awesome. Like, I'm, I'm really impressed by this. I'm really happy. Okay, with the plastic off, we can get a clearer look at both of the steelbooks. I guess I'll start by taking a look at the lenticular one first, because I think it's a little bit more interesting. So we'll just move this one aside for now. And I did want to mention that you do get the same uh, lenticular like kind of badge for both of them, even though the other one isn't actually holographic in the same way. So yeah, like I said, the cover of this one is really, really awesome. Like this is very high quality. It works really well. Like it's, it's so 3D, I really love it. I mean, I don't mess around with holographic stuff that much, but I think and hope that this is showing up really well on camera too. And it does make it seem a little bit more alive, which is creepy, but cool at the same time. And then at the back, you kind of go through multiple eras of TV shows, or I mean of the sitcoms, right? So this is what the 1960s with Wanda and Vision, and then, well, no, that's the wrong order. But, uh, but yeah, so you have the 1960s, then you have the 1980s. This was like Family Ties, Full House, uh, and like with the kids and everything. And then you have the 2010s with like the modern family styling. So this is honestly really awesome as well because, I mean, it's just cool seeing the settings and like the TV change. And of course, it's nice to get three different images because on the front, Wanda and Vision kind of just look straight at you or look off to the side. It's not like they, oh wait, they do look to this side. Oh, that's a really nice surprise. I was going to say, it's not like they turn their heads both ways, but they do turn their heads both ways. So that's kind of crazy. Like this, I, I just, I love this so much. I'm, I'm really glad I bought this because I was kind of regretting the purchase after the actual physical media was announced. But now for the actual steelbook. I've gone ahead and pre-removed the plastic so I don't need to mess around with that. Um, but in here, looks like we get this little folder. I've never liked this art because I think Vision looks really, really creepy on it. It's not new or anything. Um, but inside, okay, it looks like we have this nice little WandaVision envelope. Uh, I'm actually going to wait to open this. Oh, see, that's not great. It's like kind of crinkled at the edge. Yeah, that's a small thing, but I mean, hey, it's the only thing I've been able to complain about so far. Uh, so the front of this is, again, the teaser poster, which is what I would expect based on the front of, like, the slip. And then I really like the back with this Welcome to Westview sign. Like, this is the town sign in the show like in Wanda's sitcom. So I think that that's really awesome. And I really like the kind of purple hex look. And then cracking this open, there's no discs inside. Okay, that's kind of hilarious. Like, I thought that there was going to be like pamphlets or I guess whatever's in the card I thought was going to be in here. But no, it's literally just like an empty disc case. Like, that's really, really funny because it's like, is it basically telling me to like, pirate WandaVision off of Disney Plus and burn it onto some discs at home and then put them in this case. I thought that this was just going to be like a fancy case to carry whatever is in this envelope. I didn't think that it was going to be just an empty disc case. But I guess that makes sense because I guess that's what a steelbook is. But I don't know. I just think that this is really funny because it's not what I was expecting. All right, well, let's go ahead and see what's in this envelope. Because I guess whatever is in here is kind of what I paid for. Okay, looks like we have a couple of, sorry, that was off camera, but looks like we have a couple of trading cards. So these are pretty nice because this is the, like, the first episode, the 50s episode. Uh, this is the last episode, the 2010s one. Um, this is the 70s episode, which was one of my favorites. So that was episode three. Uh, okay, and then this is episode six. This was the early 2000s with Halloween. So 
these are cool. Um, these feel a little bit cheaper. You know, I really complimented the quality of these focus. Thank you. I really complimented the quality of like the outer packaging, but these feel very flimsy and cheap. Like if I accidentally scrunched up my hand, they would just be mulch. Um, and I mean, like the backs are cool, but I'm, I'm kind of confused that you only get like four of these. Like I, I think there are supposed to be six of them. Like there were six of these posters made. So getting all six would have been nice because right now we have episode one, three, uh, six, and nine. So we don't have anything for episodes two or five. And that's just kind of odd because it would have been nice to get all of like these themed posters. But it also looks like we have some postcard type things. So this is from episode two. And that's nice. Like, um, like this art style was from Bewitched. And so that was like really popular. But like that, that episode, like this intro was very iconic, in my opinion, at least. Um, so that's cool. But yeah, there's not a lot here. And honestly, that's kind of how I feel about the official uh, Disney Plus physical media releases as well. I've only taken a look at Loki so far, but I was really underwhelmed by that one. I still think like I think that like the papery stuff in here is underwhelming. I think that in the official uh, Disney Plus physical media, like the paper stuff is better. However, everything else about these steelbooks so far, I like more. So like I said, the second steelbook seems a little bit less interesting because it isn't lenticular like the first one. However, it's still really nice. Like you could you could have bought either one of these. I just chose to buy like the two pack. And this one is, but I think they were the same price. So this being the same price as the lenticular one isn't great, but this one is still really nice. So again, it has that embossing. So it's a very like silky, glossy feel on the main characters and the television screens. However, the background is entirely matte. And I honestly kind of like this embossing even more than I like what's going on with like the two pack like case kind of that they came in. Like to me, this is just, this is really deluxe. It's really nice and I'm a big fan of it. Also, this poster is probably my least favorite of the main WandaVision posters. I like the one on the case and the one on the lenticular steelbook better. However, I'm always going to love this one just because it gave us like the first clear glimpses of Wanda's new costume. And um, this is like her first real costume in the MCU that's not just a trench coat and a corset, uh, except for that one in Age of Ultron that was only in there for like two seconds. But yeah, like the point is I was obsessing over these like two little glimpses of her costume for like months until we saw it in the show. So that's just a nice memory. And then I do like the back here, which is again, like from the first episode with them being married. And I really like this style. Oh, and this is embossed as well. That's nice. Ooh, like you can see the, the kind of TV static lines on here. All of that is like raised. That's a really nice feeling. So again, it's stuff like this, like touch isn't really something you think of when it comes to just, you know, pretty steel books to look at. But having all of this be embossed like this, it's just, it's really awesome. And it just elevates the experience. And I can't say that enough. I probably sound like a broken record at this point, but it's just really, really cool and completely unexpected. As for the actual steel book though, um, I'm a little bit worried because it is exactly the same as the other one, at least in exterior appearance. The folder is also exactly the same. So now I'm worried, like, is it is it the exact same stuff inside? Because these were sold as two different items, I just thought that they were going to be different. So I was honestly really shocked when I pulled this out to take off the plastic. I was really shocked that it's the same as the other one and that it's not a steelbook with this, like, poster on it. So that's slightly worrisome to me. But, yep, it's exactly the same. Okay. So, I mean, I guess it makes sense that they wouldn't make two completely different products, but I thought I was paying for two different products, not like two different covers. So this is a little bit surprising to me. Well, that means it's time to look inside this envelope. Ooh, this one is like pristine, so that's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and open it up. And is it exactly the same? Yes, it is. Same three postcards, same four little trading card. No. Oh, yeah, no, there are four. Okay. I was like, wait, there's only three. Okay. Yeah. So, so this is kind of disappointing. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit let down by this. 
Uh, especially because, like, we don't get the other two trading cards. Like, I thought maybe, oh, you're going to get four in one of, like, the Steelbooks, and then in the second one, there'll be two others. So doing that classic thing where, like, they're forcing fans to buy double the amount of stuff so that they can get, like, the full collection. But I guess they weren't doing this here. I guess Manta Lab was not trying to scam me into buying two of these. So I may have just wasted $60 on this one, especially because I don't like that cover as much as the Lenticular cover. Uh, so I feel like a little bit of a fool because I really thought that these were going to have different things inside. And honestly, it's really confusing to me that this is what comes inside. Um, maybe they advertised it and I just didn't look because I just hit like the purchase button, in which case that's completely on me if I didn't check to see what was actually included. But I'm just surprised because like, like I said, you get the four eras, but you don't get all six of them. And then this is all just from episode two. I'm like, it would have been fun to get the postcards of like the title cards from each of the different episodes. Like what's here does not feel reflective of the show as a whole. It feels reflective of like half the show and then of one episode. And so I don't really love that. So overall, I'm not really sure how to feel about these discless steelbooks. On the one hand, I really, really love the packaging. Like I said, they feel like premium collector's items, even though they are kind of just useless cash grabs because they're discless steelbooks. Like, I can't stress enough how stupid that idea is. Like, it really is stupid. And I'm sorry, like, I'm a sucker, so I bought them anyway. And, you know, I need to reconcile those two things. There's a lot of stuff where I'm like, oh, this is dumb, but I know I'm going to buy it anyway, and I know I'm going to I know I'm gonna fall for that. And so I don't really regret falling for this because, like I said, they, they are premium collector's items. Like, I love the lenticular thing. I love the case that both of them came in. So I am sad that, like, the, like, trading cards, for lack of a better term, and the postcards were the same between the two steelbooks. But I do think that was advertised by the company, so I think that that's on me for not looking closely enough. And to be perfectly honest, I probably would have bought both anyway, even if I had double checked, because I really love the case that the two of them came in. And it's an exclusive WandaVision item, like I need to have it. So let's be honest, I would have bought it anyway. Now price is where this thing comes into play. So I paid 115 US dollars for the both of them. I think if you bought them separately, it was probably going to be a little bit more expensive, like over 120 US. So these things are basically 60 US dollars each. And the official Disney Steelbook, like 4K, with the actual discs included and exclusive concept art from the shows, those cost like 45 US dollars each. So are these really worth it? I think the answer is no. I think they are overpriced items that are just meant to empty the pockets of suckers like me. And I, I'm aware of that. But I don't know. I feel like they really should have come with discs. I don't know if that would have been possible. Even though they're officially licensed products, they aren't sold by Disney, right? So I don't know if they could have legally sold the discs. And again, these came from Hong Kong. I don't know how like regional distribution of television and all that works. But the fact of the matter is that you are paying $20 more than Disney's own price for the actual full like five hour TV show just to get empty steel books. And again, like those like those artwork papers that are included in these, they aren't even exclusive, you know, like at least the Disney Steelbooks come with exclusive concept art. These are just like kind of thrown in there so that they aren't completely empty. So yeah, so th it, this is kind of hard to judge because it's like only a really hardcore collector like me who's kind of crazy and willing to throw some money away would buy this. Otherwise, you're better off just buying the official version. But what I really wish is that there was some kind of mix of the two of these. Because I don't have the Disney Steelbook yet because it doesn't come out for another month. But I can tell you right now, they don't have anything as cool as this lenticular design. So I wish that we had like packaging of this quality and this care, you know, like with the embossing, with the lenticular stuff to show like the changing of like the sitcom eras. I wish that we had packaging this creative going into something that actually had physical media in it. So I think that combining the two would kind of be the perfect solution. Like I said, though, this is a super niche item. You know, I don't even know how many people are going to watch this review, but I love WandaVision and I did spend the money on these, so I had to talk about it. Let me know what you guys think about these discless steelbooks in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well, and I'll see you guys in more videos soon. Bye for now.